Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. This is completely a last minute video. I was probably going to upload something else but I just really, really feel the need to upload this right now. Different comments have been bugging me quite recently. Two comments in particular um, from many different channels and things like that. One of them is based on Felice versus bedding and another one is based on cardboard toys for rabbits. <gasps> I'm gonna get so bugged in this video. I've actually gone ahead and just deleted certain comments because oh it just bugs me so much when people try and change your opinions on things like an opinion is an opinion it's not going to change you can't really force people to like or dislike something that you like or dislike you know it's just not going to happen so i'm going to focus on the first kind of comment that crops up quite a lot which is based on on the fleece versus bedding thing this is like a thing isn't it or something People argue about whether fleece is better or whether bedding's better. Like, does it matter? As long as your pet's happy and healthy, that should be the main thing. I'm going to read one comment, and it was actually a quote. This is on my, which video is this? Setting up a rabbit cage for a new arrival. So, my most viewed video, my most commented on video, whatever you want to call it. They quoted me and said, fleece is unhygienic and, and unnatural. That's my opinion. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not like I'm completely slating fleece. It's not like I'm saying nobody should use fleece. Fleece should be banned. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I don't want to use fleece. But anyway, they continued on to say, actually, fleece is very hygienic if you use it correctly. It wicks away moisture, it has no dust and is very cheap and they're quite correct. Fleece is cheap, it has no dust. I don't know about that wicks away moisture thing, I've never really noticed the difference to be quite honest with you. I've used fleece so my opinions aren't biased. Uh, there is proof on my hutch tours but as you know I just went back to natural bedding because I just didn't like it. So they're, they're true in saying it has no dust because fleece doesn't have any dust at all and fleece is very cheap, you can buy loads of different colours, loads of different designs, so it's really pretty, brightens up the hutch in the cage, overall it's really cute. So I replied with, I've used fleece before so my opinion isn't biased like I've just said. And then I carried on with, it collects up too much fur when washed and it transfers fur onto other things, it's too much hassle for me. And Rosie choose it which puts their health at risk which is very true in my opinion fleece is just so much hassle so much work it's pretty but I do I just don't like it it's not affecting anyone it's not affecting Rosie it's not affecting it's not affecting anything so I just don't get why people are so offended by it like so then they replied with actually fleece is the best bedding for rabbits and guinea pigs as well as other pets Maybe it's good for rabbits and guinea pigs, but for other pets, hamsters and gerbils, fleece is definitely off the list with them. If you don't want fur to transfer to other things, you should wash it without other clothing. If you sweep it with a broom, it usually catches all the fur in it. Ah, oh, this is the thing. Nobody washes fur covered fleece with clothes. Nobody does, I hope. I hope not anyway. But it stays in the washing machine. Fur stays in the washing machine and transfers onto your clothes. You don't want to be constantly cleaning out your washing machine. Oh my gosh, in my opinion, natural bedding saves so much time. Okay, it's dustier than fleece, but it's natural. It controls odour, it absorbs. Who's gonna want fleece covered in urine? Oh. When it comes to washing, it just completely takes over and like I've just said, natural bedding just saves me so much more time. I just wish people would accept that I don't want to use fleece. Like, why? I just don't get why people are so affected by it. And like I said, my opinion isn't biased. This whole fleece versus bedding thing and all these comments that I'm getting, it's like having a friend. This is going to sound really weird. It's like having a friend, introducing them to a food that they've never tried before. You don't like it, but your friend keeps bugging you to keep on trying it. 
It's not gonna happen. When people comment, you should use fleece, fleece is the best. I don't think it is. And my opinion's not gonna change, especially when people are ranting at me. Like, why is my opinion gonna change if someone's ranting at me, shouting at me, you know, just abusing my comment section? Okay, so loads of you use fleece. That's really good for you. I'm sure your pets really love it. I'm sure you love it. I wish I could love it because I think fleece is really pretty, but I don't like it. And nothing's gonna change that, unfortunately. Rosie's health in terms of using fleece. When I used fleece in Rosie's hutch, um, Rosie chewed it. Rosie isn't that much of a chew, but when it comes to like materials and clothing items, fleece, she, she will chew it, she chews it. Rosie's put so many holes in fleece and she's like a little goat when it comes to materials and clothing. I don't want Rosie ingesting fleece because that is not going to be good for her health. That's That's got to be a valid point to why I don't use fleece, surely. Surely you've got to accept it now because I'm not going to do something that's going to affect Rosie. Like, I don't want to put her health at risk just for something that people say is better because I don't think it is I really really don't think it is and I'm sorry if that upsets some of you but I'm not being I'm not being horrible about it though like loads of people are being horrible to me about the fact that I use bedding but I'm not being horrible back I'm just stating my opinions stating why I don't use fleece I've just given up on replying to comments, that's just why I wanted to make this video. So let me know what your opinions are on fleece versus bedding and if you do have a problem with the fact that I don't use fleece then just don't watch my videos, it's just simple. I just don't get why it affects people to be quite honest with you. Okay, so on to the next subject which is cardboard toys. So in my recent pet products that I regret buying video, I showed a, cob a little cardboard house, I think it was the gingerbread cardboard house from the Pets at Home Christmas um, section. And again, I was getting loads of comments from people who seemed to have a problem with the fact that I didn't like the cardboard toy. I stated in the video that these were my own personal opinions. Like every opinion counts as long as it's not affecting anybody else and as long as it's not affecting Rosie's health. So yeah, I was just simply telling people why I didn't like the toy, what I thought was bad, why I won't buy it again and some people just for some reason couldn't accept it. I wasn't saying in the video don't go and buy cardboard toys, don't do this, don't do that. I wasn't saying that at all. But people were saying that I was coming across like that and if I was then I apologise. But I don't recall saying don't buy this, don't buy that. I was just sharing my opinions on why I wouldn't buy those products again. And the reason why I wouldn't buy that cardboard toy again is because Rosie wasn't interested in it and I preferred to supervise her when using it. I like supervising Rosie when she's got cardboard toys and toys that have material on, for example tents and tunnels and things like that. I just like doing it because I just do, I just do it, like it's just something I do. I've known certain toys to cause blockages in rabbits. My friend actually had a rabbit who had a cardboard toy and they ended up, it ended up getting stuck like stuck and lodged in their throat. What I was trying to tell people but they were like oh but rabbits can digest them properly but I was trying to say but it got stuck it hadn't even reached digestion point. Do you know what I mean? And people were just jumping to conclusions thinking that I was saying you shouldn't buy it, you shouldn't buy it at all. Rosie's got loads of cardboard toys that she uses on a daily basis. For example, one of her favourites is that cardboard tunnel. I think that's made with vegetable products. So it's safe, it's fine. But the fact that people just jump to conclusions so quickly and just start completely piling all of this negativity on you, it just really bugs you. I have actually deleted the comments because they just bug me too much and I just... Like I try and explain but people just don't listen anymore so I just given up completely. Um, but yeah, I just really wish people would just listen 
to what I'm trying to say. Like, I can't believe I've had to film a video to share my opinions. Like, I suppose it's a way of, like, interacting more with you guys. I definitely will do more of these opinion type videos soon. But I just... This one really bugged me and really got to me. Like, normally negative comments just don't bother me at all. I just, you know, brush them off like everyone else does. Wow, people are really so offended that I don't like fleece and that I wouldn't purchase another cardboard toy again. It's like, oh my god, please, just stop. <laughs> so if you've got any more questions, just let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think of these different topics if you want to. Share your opinions below. Do you like fleece? Don't you like fleece? Those sorts of things. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I know this has been quite a long chatty video but I just wanted to get my opinions, thoughts and beliefs out there because people just don't listen when it's in a comment. So thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!